bringing the metal detector like the dig I did last week. What you're looking at right there was somebody's working field 200 years ago. I think I see round. All right, let's let that dry out for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Well, hey everybody, today is gonna be a day of mixed thoughts. The other day we got to the road and it was flooded out and we had to go to the north to go around to do some exploring. So my first part of the mixed thought is same road except this time we're gonna go to the south, okay? We're gonna head in that way to see what's in there but then we're gonna head to the east. Because way out over there is one of our permission farms. It's an old colonial farm, been abandoned since, oh, probably late 1800s, and I've never gone in from this side. Which is the second part of my thought, bringing the metal detector, like the dig I did last week, where I found that 1801 large scent, it was because I came in from the tail end of the old farm, heading towards the cellar hole, and it ended up working out well, so. Let's go. Let's get into the woods. We got to get around this low-lying bog on the south side and then we'll start heading for the old farm. And just a few hundred feet in I can already see that it's a lot wetter to this side which makes sense because it's it's heading towards a pond out that way. Hopefully we won't have any issue crossing. Today's weather is a whole lot better. When 45 feels warm, you know it's been rotten. So this sunshine is very welcoming. Well, this looks like the most promising spot, so We'll head east when we get over there and eventually should pop uh, into the back of an old pasture or field. I don't know if that's rock wall or just rock. I'd be surprised if it's that soon already, which would mean that there's two squares. It's a big farm over there and we've been detecting it for years around the cellar hole. But because the terrain uh, is pretty rugged, we've never come all the way to the backside. And it got logged about 10 years ago, which you know how that works out. Makes it pretty much impassable for a long time. So we'll see when we get there. But let's go see if that's a wall or just big rocks. Nope, they were big rocks. That's all right. We're seeing what it's like out here for the first time together. Oddly enough, I've never been all the way back out here. But I guess now is a better time than never. Well, I can already tell by the change up there in the trees. We're getting to where it's logged. And I guarantee you that's where the the boundary wall is for that square. It's usually how they run them when they cut them. Yep. There's our wall. Oh, there's another chunk of wall inside the square. That's a good sign. All right, well, now it's time for me to get my shovel accessible and we'll start swinging on the other side here and see what the machine hears. Well, there's no doubt, even just walking a couple minutes in, that this was a pasture. You can tell by the wall, and the land is just up and down, up and down. So I'm going to keep swinging my way towards where the house was, and hopefully we'll find a small square that had agriculture. But you never know, somebody could have dropped something back here. 
All right, so we break on through to the second pasture or second square. I think this was a field. You can tell it was logged. And the wall is more like six feet wide and full of all small rocks. So we're gonna have to swing in this crap see if we can find anything, but this is where the activity would have been. See, I'm already picking up iron. Forty forty-five could be ammo. It's iron. Definitely was a part of something. All right. Well, we got a target out of the way. Interesting sound. Interesting numbers. Complete. Not even spent. Well, that explains the numbers. And still, that was like four inches deep way out here. All right. That's New Hampshire. Well, it's a clean signal, but those 75s are a roll of the dice. Like that. Jeez. It's a tightener thing. It's probably brass inside. Huh. Well, I've made my way all the way over by the cellar hole. It was just bleak out there. As you can see I'm in the mess of all this pine stuff. Another shotgun shell for the collection. Jeez. Well, I'm back out uh, in the squares that I came through getting here because I know that cellar hole has been cleaned by me and FG. Um, just very surprised that there's not much of any signals over here. Maybe it's from the logging. I mean, there's tons of this stuff down on the ground, so we're not hearing anything unless it's really loud like this thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith. That's the guy who lived here. Dandy Button with Shank. Well, that made the whole trip worth it. The gentleman who built this farm, and this is one of those situations where it was only that family that stayed here for several generations. He was a veteran of the American Revolution. So it's a good bet that that belonged to him. Awesome. All right, maybe, maybe because I spoke up and said we weren't finding much of anything, we will now find things. All right, well, a few feet over. 55, it's in the shotgun shell range, but we scored right there, so maybe we will right here. Piece of lead. So I have made my way all the way back to where I started. Here's the wall we crossed. And listen to this. Oh. So I am two hours in or two hours out, however you want to look at it. I will be perfectly thrilled to go home with that dandy button, but that is an exciting signal. Especially when you're at the tail end of the farm. Really makes you wonder. Could be new, could be modern. I think I see round with an 85. You're talking early copper. Yep, look at that. We have got us a big copper. 
Wow. All right, let's let that dry out for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Bye, 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 and I'm back. Well, I'm really not seeing much of anything. Might be a slick, might be one for the pocket tumbler, but I will put the pictures up of afterwards to see if we can see anything else. Other than that, I'm gonna keep heading down that way and following the wall. Awesome, well with an 85, it's gotta be an early, early copper because those numbers imply pretty much almost pure. Well, that's it. I've swung all the way down to the corner and uh, I still got a ways to hike back so I'm going to call it a day here. But it's pretty remarkable to think that what you're looking at right there was somebody's working field 200 years ago all the way up, you know, in through the 1800s. And now it's returning to forest. But think of the possibilities of other stuff that's out there in the ground. I'm very happy to go home with that dandy button and the uh, copper. So thanks for joining me, everyone. Get out and explore your world. And I'll see you soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. <laughs>